All right, so things are not in quite the state that I would like them to be for this video. <clears throat> also wish I hadn't just stepped on that utility knife. <clears throat> this is previously, the room previously known as the office. So it's like a rectangle or, yeah, it's almost a square <clears throat> with this one big window in the middle of it. And not only is it almost a square, but it's had this, this corner kind of cut off of it. Can't even hardly go by the lines of the grout lines on the floor, but <clears throat> right, so that's one side and here's the other side. So <clears throat> the wall that's back there is the back of one of the closets in the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Also, I'm sure not in the state that I wish it were, but <clears throat> so uh, I've entered the master bedroom. If I turn to the right, there's a sliding glass door toward the backyard. It's got this, I don't know, is that a tray ceiling? But it's functional because there's duct work. At least some of it's functional. Uh, so having come into the master, now I'm turning to the left. <clears throat> Let me back up here. Uh, I'm actually going to turn my phone sideways. So down that hallway immediately to the right is a small walk-in closet. To the left is a walk-in closet that's like double that size. You can see them on the plans. Uh, let's go back to vertical. All right, so there's this one. There we light. Um, I guess the ceiling height in there is, I don't know if it really matters. Maybe it's the same as the height of the, of the lower part of the tray ceiling. I hadn't measured that. So that's the location of that closet. That's what that looks like. And on the plan, you're seeing the other closet. And as I've entered this closet and turned about 45 degrees to the right, that's like, you know, roughly where I'm thinking the door, new doorway into the office will go and that office will become the master walk-in closet. You'd think there are two vanities there, but there are not. There's only one sink on the left side there. To the left is the toilet and bidet room. And then here's this little, uh, this is not all that little, linen closet. Since there's no other sink there, look where they've put another sink. How cool. So strange. Anyway, this is the, we call it the car wash. So entry into the master shower on either side. It is indeed curved, but a little bit different from what you see on the plan. Uh, they did not end up putting a seat here, but there is this sort of solid center portion, and then they did the bevel glass block on either side. Um, I guess that's it. With this being the toilet room, it's this wall that I think has to move to the left uh, some amount. Here's the, the grout line here, which is just inside of the doorway. Goes almost even with the front edge of the toilet bowl. So maybe this wall moves like 8 to 12 inches. Anyway, wanted you to have a, a visual so that we can look at some ideas on the, on the plan. My two favorite ideas are this wall, which ideally this is where the tub will go. Long ways in here, except this wall will have to push back some amount, uh, maybe again like 8 to 12 inches. When it does, <clears throat> this wall that has the green face on it where the light switch is, I think that maybe that should come in along the side of the tub and then come across the, well, it won't be a walkway anymore, but it should come across and maybe tie into this new uh, wall that was, you know, for the toilet room, which is going to be slid to the left. If, if we did that, again, let me go sideways here. There would be a wall coming alongside the tub, which would then cut across 
to meet up with this wall that houses the toilet and then the doorway into the master closet would be you know along that wall I don't know anyway those are my two uh, favorite plans that I've drawn up so far where either this wall comes in alongside the tub with enough room that you could walk alongside the tub in order to get in from the side since I think the uh, spigot should be on this side of the tub uh, and then the other idea is to kind of maintain this idea close that off and then keep this wall coming across to meet up with the new wall that's for the toilet room and then put a doorway uh, with the door opening in this way instead of opening the other way alongside the wall that would be sort of containing the tub. All right, enough of that.